Well, hi everyone, it's Julia. So today I am doing this look that's inspired by the upcoming Disney movie Maleficent. So I've been watching the trailers with you know Angelina Jolie as Maleficent and I was just so inspired. Just some still pictures I've seen of Angelina Jolie and I just kind of took inspiration from it and made my own Maleficent look. You guys are probably wondering, okay, well why is she wearing wings? Like Maleficent doesn't wear wings, she's got like horns. Actually in the trailer there are scenes where it goes into the backstory of Maleficent and there's this scene where she's got these awesome black wings that were apparently stolen from her. So that's what the wings are from. So let's get started with this fun and dramatic tutorial. So as always, you'll find a complete list of all the products that I'm using on my website, hellojuliagraph.com. So I started out by applying just a piece of tape on the outer part of my eye, and then I used this very neutral colored eyeshadow. This one's actually by Makeup Geek, and I applied that kind of on the inner part of my eye and then just sweeping it upwards. Next, I grabbed this mid-tone purple color, also by Makeup Geek, and I applied that with a flat brush to the middle and the outer third of my eye. So I'm blending that with that cream color that I applied earlier. Next, I used this very, very dark purple eyeshadow by Creolan, and as you might have noticed, all the shadows that I'm actually using on my eye are matte, and this one is no exception, so I applied that on the very outer third and then working inwards. I used a crease brush just to start blending that with the other colors. Next, I took a black eyeshadow. This one's by Illa Masca. I grabbed a little bit of the black and I just mixed it with that dark purple just to really get a very dark look here. And then I started to blend it out again using that crease brush. Then I took this medium gray shade. This one's by MAC on a very fluffy brush. And I just kind of blended out all those colors. And because this is a much larger brush, it gives you a much softer wash of color just to kind of get that grayish look to the eye. Underneath my brow, I used that same color by Makeup Geek, that cream color, and just applied that just to blend out the colors and add a little bit of a brow highlight. And then I went back in with that dark purple and blended that out onto the bottom of my lid just to kind of get a really smoky purple look. For the eyeliner, I used a gel liner. This one's by MAC, and on a small artist brush, I applied that to my top lid. And because you've got that piece of tape there, it should be really easy to create a winged eyeliner and just really kind of thicken that up on the outer part right there. Now that you're done with that, you can gently remove that tape and it will reveal a very clean outer edge. And if you've got a little bit of mistakes on the bottom, then just use a Q-tip or whatever just to clean that up. And then I lined my eyes with this product by Lancome. This is a waterproof coal liner and it's in a purple color and I lined my waterline and just on the lower lash line with that pencil. And then I used some mascara obviously. This one's again by Lancome and just really applied a thick coat of lashes to the top and bottom lashes. Then for the eyebrows. Now Maleficent has obviously very, very, you know, pointy eyebrows. So I mimicked that shape by just kind of extending the top in a very triangular shape, as you can see. So I'm using just an eyebrow pencil from MAC and just outlining it first and then filling that in with that product. And then I used um, a brow powder in a dark brown color and also a little bit of black just to fill in those brows a bit further. So there you should have those very pointy Maleficent brows. So now for the contouring. Now Angelina Jolie has a super contoured face and she also has prosthetics on her face. So obviously that's not gonna happen in this video, but I am gonna show you how to contour very strongly. So first I used actually a cream pigment by Ella Masca on a foundation brush and then I just kind of shaped out where I want the contour to go. This is obviously gonna look quite sort of unnatural contour, but that's kind of what I'm going for. And then I just blended that out with a damp makeup sponge just to blend it in a bit better. And then to make that edge very sharp, I used some concealer and used the other side of that sponge just to kind of create a very sharp edge. Then 
I went ahead and set that product with some powder because this is a cream product you want to set it with powder before you put other powders on top so then I used this contouring powder by Ben Nye and it's kind of a grayish brown shade and used a contouring brush just to really deepen up that contour even further and make it look a bit darker and I also used this eyeshadow which is in a grayish color because that contour looks quite gray on Angelina so that's what I was going for and I also applied a little bit of contour just around the top of my forehead just to really kind of make my face look very hollowed out. And it does look like Angelina has a little bit of blush on her face kind of mixed in with the contour. So I used this blush in a very light pink tone by Ella Masca and blended that in. For the lips, I wanted a very extreme ombre lip. So first I'm outlining my lips with a very, very dark burgundy lip liner. Then I followed that up with a purplish burgundy lipstick. This one's also by MAC. And just using a lip brush, I filled in the outer part of my lips, making sure to leave a little space in the middle. And that little space I'm gonna fill in with a red lipstick. This is kind of a deep red. And I just fill that into the center. So there you should have those Maleficent lips. And just to kind of finish the look, I added some false eyelashes. These are by House of Lashes. They're very full, very, very dramatic lashes. And I think they just look really pretty with this look and very sort of Maleficent-like. And I just glued those on using some lash glue. And to finish everything off, I used this very white highlighter by Ella Masca. So this probably isn't going to work if you have darker skin, but for this look, it just worked and I just highlighted the top of my cheekbones. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up and leave your comments down below. Make sure to also subscribe to this channel if you wanna see more tutorials by myself. And you can click on one of the two boxes right now on either side and that will take you to another video of mine. So I will see you guys very soon. Bye everyone.